typically, documentaries are on species threatened with extinction. This one is about the biggest plague of the 20th century. The architects. It is believed that architects descended from monkeys, and, at one point, his DNA has changed. With the emergence of new materials, architects DNA became more fine, and light. There are some similarities. They are both capable of walking only with their feet. They use drugs to survive. They play with stones and sticks. And they always seem to have back pain. But this is not a fact. No one can prove the origin of this strange species. Some advocate the idea that architects are not from this planet, they are aliens. And they, themselves, believe that were born from gods, making them semi-gods. There are other popular rumors and beliefs that defend other idea. Says the legend that one day, during the cold winter, a desperate bee was so confused that mate with an alpaca named Jelena. From that natural selection, the first baby architect was born, and so, the plague began. But, this is just a rumor, invented in a technical English lesson. Although we do not know for sure its origin, the first eyewitness of an architect comes from Egypt, some thousands of years ago. They were building really tall buildings without any purpose, called pyramids. Just for fun. When questioned why this behavior to a specialist in the study of this race, she replied, We must understand. In that time, they did not have toys to play, like Lego, so they used stones. In fact, I believe that architects should receive a fee from Lego for copyrights. Physically, we can spot an architect by their huge dark circles around the eyes, combined with their savage hair and refined smell. By the way of speaking you can definitely identify them if they start a sentence with, metaphorically speaking, or, if they include the words static and velocity in the same sentence. They can never be clear when they speak. They will not be really architect if you understand what they want to say. It's their code. To be sure if you are talking to an architect, you can ask them what they do in three times. The answering would probably be, sometimes I sleep. Another architect's characteristic can be found in their light taste. Normally, people like to see the sunset. But for architects, it means time is running out for the final exams. But, like all other animal, some manage to develop better than others. The last stage of transformation, the bosses, ride motorcycles and let grow a nice beard. Just because they can. Architects can be found everywhere. There are some places for their secret meetings called ateliers. We have some secret footage showing what they do inside. Some images may be shocking. Whoa. <laughs> Another good spot to see them is somewhere around Caesar's work. It's their natural habitat, they think. You can feed them. But don't get too close, they might start talking about architecture and they will never stop. The most intelligent architect species, also rare, can be found deep in the Monsanto's forest. Mostly seen at night, 
They play with some weird and small houses, which they call models. For ordinary mortals, it would be just doll houses for Barbies. Usually, their state of mind depends on the project grades. When it goes wrong, they can get aggressive or in full depression, with reports of students crying on mummy's shoulder. An architect chooses his partner carefully. When around other species, they prefer the most minimalist and intelligent ones. Except for one night every year, in a restricted ritual called Tremosada, where they unleash themselves and go wild and blind. Although like to be seen as seducers, architects are a monogamous species because they have no time for more than one. When they become adults, baby architects go to a place they call Faculty of Architecture. There is no reports of what they do inside, but one thing is sure. No one comes out the same way he got in. The roots that architects have can be found everywhere. They try to control the world. If you look closely, you can find young architects working in supermarkets, shops, restaurants and even in call centers. In extreme cases, not accepted by all architecture community, you can see architects pretending to be homeless just to have an opportunity to persuade real homeless to buy a house. They are an easy target. It is well known, even by common mortals, that architect religion can change dramatically from an architect to another. However, like Jesus, God and Saint Anthony, are for Christians in architect religion, we find, Le Corbusier, Caesar, Reem Colas, and Peter Zumpfer, among others, as the great gods of Olympus. Please, do not mess with their religion, or they might mess with yours. As you can see, architects are a plague nowadays, and efforts are being made to reduce the growing of this race. People are tired to pay for projects, and want everything for free, and quickly. Computers are now good enough to play the role of architects in a project, we don't need them. The latest news indicate that the presidents of the greatest nations of the world, are joining forces to end with this plague. They are writing laws to prevent more problems with architects. But, we will never know how they will reply to this threats. We have seen their power, and having Frank Gary designing something in Lisbon, is always a possibility, that we don't want to see, becoming true.